Hey everyone, this episode is brought to you by author Neeraj Abandi's hot new release, Amazon number one best-selling book, The Ones Who Dare, Beating All Odds. This book has just released and became Amazon's number one best-selling book. So make sure you grab the copy today. It's available on Amazon, The Ones Who Dare by author Neeraj Abandi. Also available on Flipkart, Paytm, Snapdeal and Adwika Bookmart. Make sure you grab your copy now. The Child Story by Charles Dickens. Once upon a time, a good many years ago, there was a traveler, and he set upon a journey. It was a magic journey, and was to seem very long when he began it, and very short when he got halfway through. He travelled along a rather dark path of some little time without meeting anything until at last he came to a beautiful child. So he said to the child, What do you do here? And the child said, I am always at play. Come and play with me. So he played with that child the whole day long and they were very merry. The sky was so blue, the sun was so bright and the water was so sparkling. The leaves were so green, the flowers were so lovely, and they heard such singing birds and saw so many butteries that everything was falling drops. And to smell the fresh scents, when it blew, it was delightful to listen to the wind and fancy what it said, as it came rushing, driving the clouds before it, bending the trees, rumbling in the chimney shaking the house and making the sea roar in fury. But when it snowed, white flakes falling fast and thick like down from the breast of millions of white birds. And to see how smooth and deep the drift was and to listen to the hush upon the paths and roads. They had plenty of finest toys in the world and the most astonishing picture books all about scimitars and slippers and turbans and dwarfs and giants and chinis and fairies and blue beards and s- bean stars and riches and canvas and forests and valentines and orsons all new and all true but one day of a sudden a traveler lost the child he called to him over and over again, but no answer. So he went upon his road and went on for a little while without meeting anything until at last he came to a handsome boy. So he said to the boy, What do you do here? The boy said, I am always learning. Come and learn with me. So he learned with that boy about Jupiter and Juno and the Greeks and the Romans and I don't know what and learned more than I could tell or he either for he soon forgot a great deal of it but they were not always learning they had the merriest games that ever were played they rode upon the river in summer and skated on the ice in winter they were active afoot and active on horseback at cricket and all games at ball, at prisoner's pace, hare and hounds, follow my leader and more sports than I can think of. Nobody could beat them. They had holidays too and twelve cakes and parties where they danced till midnight and real theatres where they saw palaces of real gold and silver rise out of the real earth and saw all the wonders of the world at once. As to friends, they had such dear friends and so many of them that I want the time to reckon them up. They were all young, like the handsome boy, and were never to be stretched one another all their lives to. Still, One day, in the midst of all these pleasures, the traveller lost the boy, as he lost the child, 
and after calling him in vain, went on upon his journey. He went on upon his journey. The traveler lost a child in his journey. Then he met a handsome boy. He enjoyed with both of them, but at last he lost the young handsome boy again. And he was now, after all, calling him. He was calling him, but after all, that all went in vain. The sufferings. He still continued. The traveler still continued his journey. This was part one of the child story by Charles Dickens. We will continue the journey of the traveler in coming episode. Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to Greedy Audio's Jartin Podcast. This is Ajay Tambe, coming up with next episode. Stay tuned.